What's up guys, it's Ian with Blood Mountain Craftsman here. So today we're gonna to be taking out the passenger side um, seat in my Ford F-150 and the center console. I have a 2006 F-150 uh, sitting behind me right here. I got it a couple months ago on Facebook Marketplace from a guy that was using it as a work truck. Had uh, just over 150,000 miles. Not really any issues, you know, major issues, but uh, a couple minor ones that we're gonna to try to fix over the next couple months. Um, some of the things that we've already got started on were ripping out the seats. I've already taken out the back seats and uh, today we're going to be taking out the passenger side seat in the center console. So let's get started. So the reason I'm taking out the seats is to uh, get down to where we can rip the carpet up and uh, the seats are going to be reupholstered as well. I'm going to be doing all that myself. Um, if you can't tell, seats are a good bit dirty. Um, I don't know if it's just general dirt and grime or grease or what he did and then there's some tears all along them as well. So they need a, a, a general overall reupholstering. And then the uh, carpeting is about the same. It's, you know, kind of dirty, nasty, and then uh, some holes in there as well, uh, all up in the carpeting. So those are going to be taken out and redone. And then while we have the seats out as well, uh, the frames on the seat definitely have a little bit of rust on them. So those will be uh, repainted, sanded down, cleaned up, uh, and repainted as well to eliminate that rust and keep it from rusting any further so uh, that's what's going to be happening and uh, let's get started with taking this passenger side seat out so i slid the seat all the way forward and i found a torx bolt here um, it looks to be about a t45 or a t50 so we are going to um, go ahead and start unscrewing that torx bolt i'm going to set you guys down here just so i can use both hands you might be able to see a little bit better this is a T50 Torx ratchet. Let's try that first. And the T50 is a perfect fit. I'm going to put a little bit of an extension on my ratchet just so I have a little bit more room to work. It's easier to get in there. And then uh, we will get the T50 seated in there. And it's good and tight as expected. If it's tight like that, what you can do is take a piece of lead pipe and slip it onto the end of the ratchet so you have a little more leverage and then turn until it breaks free. Setup is a little different on this side. There's a little plastic cover here, uh, but more than likely, if I had to make an educated guess, another T50 uh, Torx bolt on there. So let's pop this plastic cover off with a flathead screwdriver. And what do you know, it is in fact another T50 Torx. And it is also really tight. So once again, we're going to take a piece of lead pipe, slip it on there, and push until it breaks. And just like that, that should be both of the bolts in the back. Now we have slid the seat as far back as it'll go, and as you can see, there are two more T50 Torx bolts there. So we're gonna go ahead and take those out. So now that we have all the Torx bolts out, the seat should lift up and out uh, pretty easily. But something I do wanna note, um, you can see the wires up under the seat there. Um, those are for the passenger side airbag. So we want to make sure we don't damage those. So what we're going to do is gently lean the seat back until we can get to them and then uh, detach them very carefully. And it seems like a fairly standard connection here. Just have to figure out exactly how to disconnect it. Make sure I don't damage anything. I have enough room so I'm going to uh, actually lean this seat all the way back just so I can see it a little bit better. <laughs> So on my truck, uh, 2006 F-150, there's a little bit of a release right here. Um, I'm going to need to stick a um, very small flathead screwdriver up under here to release the catch. So I'm going to take a flathead screwdriver and push it up under so I can lift that catch. And it should release and pop right off. So now moving on to the middle seat, uh, there's a couple of... T50 Torx up under here as well. So we'll go ahead and get those off in the front. 
So the back definitely presents a little bit more of a challenge. It has this fold down cup holder thing. Uh, you can't see any bolts down up under the bottom here. So looks like we're going to have to take this off. Um, it's just a couple of Phillips head screws right here. Now, some little gremlins keep stealing all my Phillips head screwdrivers. So I'll be using a flat today. But definitely use a Phillips if you have it. Once those screws are out, this piece should pull right off, but it is connected by the power charger, the cigarette lighter, whatever you want to call it up here. So what I'm going to do is take these screws out so that it will fold up right. Let's see if we can lift it. And since we got it uh, unhooked, we can take it off, and voila, there's no bolts there. Now, luckily, I did a little more research and took this plastic side piece off. And uh, once you take the side piece off, you see there's some bolts here that you'll be able to remove the cushion. What it boils down to is way down deep in there, and you can't see it because it's really dark. Uh, and I don't have a flashlight with me right now. But there are two more T45 bolts that are way down deep and they're covered up by this metal back piece. So what I'm going to do is um, if you can remove some bolts here. And we should be able to take the cushion out once we remove those bolts and uh, get to that T45 or that T50 uh, torx bolt a little bit easier. And then we'll end up having to do it on the driver's side as well. Um, I'm not taking the driver's side out today. I still need this as a driver until this weekend when I get ready to redo the carpets. So we're going to do this side today and then uh, let it sit until this weekend and we'll take out the driver's seat and do the other side. Um, one is holding the seat belt on and definitely goes all the way through. That is a 15 millimeter and then there are two here as well. Uh, both of these are 13 millimeters. So we'll start with the 15 and it is on there good and tight. Thanks for watching with us today. We got a good bit done. We got the passenger side seat taken out. Got about half the middle console seat taken out. So uh, until we can get to the taking the driver's seat out, we won't be able to take that out quite yet. I actually just got a notification that my package was delivered that has my Dynamat in it. Uh, Dynamat is a sound deadener uh, that I'm going to be putting up under the flooring to kind of take down some road noise and improve the overall sound quality of the sound system that I'm going to put in the truck. So until next time, y'all be safe. Um, stay inside. Don't catch coronavirus. And uh, try to learn something new every day.